What is up mowers and moets? It's John with Smart Dots. Uh, of course, talking to you about some more mowers. The first question I get when someone walks into the shop is always, which of these mowers are doing the best this year? And this year that's gonna be the IQs, the X series, and runner up third is gonna be the Sunseeker. Today we're gonna talk about the IQ and the X series because they're very comparable. Now I have them both over here. You can see we've got the Husqvarna, we've got a big 440, and then we've got the uh, X350 up here. So there's four models of these and there's three models of the IQ series. That's gonna be the 410, 420, and 440. And of course, like always, the numbers mean bigger capacity. So we go up to 2.5 acres on both of these models, uh, except this one has an extra middleman that's gonna be the, I would say the 350. So you've got, you've got the 15, you've got the 30, you've got the 50 and you've got the 90. Now these are, uh, offers you a big range in what you can mow, obviously smaller yards to bigger yards. Now let's get into some of the differences. Now visibly, they do look very different. Right here, you've got cameras, which is gonna be one of the biggest differences uh, between these mowers. This one doesn't have cameras, so you're losing some of those capabilities. Um, one of the wonderful things about the X series is that on this little display right here, uh, it'll give you notifications. It'll tell you that the the cutting system, the, it'll be blue, yellow, green, different color lights tell you the uh, indication of how well it's doing. And maybe you need to change the blades or have any air. Uh, with these cameras right here, this mower can actually show you what it sees. So if there's a dog in the way or something going on, it'll just kind of let you know what's going on. So this one's really great for your uh, kind of hands-on, more out in the yard uh, homeowner. Now this one, just like the previous Husqvarna, is a, is a workhorse. It's focused on the job. It's, it's created to deal with these big American yards. So in here, you've got your GPS. You've also got your radar. You've got your different uh, redundancies for in case you're losing signal or if you've got anything going on that's kind of uh, getting in the way of this mower working. Now, the redundancies on this one are obviously going to uh, rely more on the camera and the V-slam. The technology is going to be slightly different in both of these mowers. Like I said, this one's got the V-slam plus, plus the RTK. They work together to create the map. You've got a very great and accurate visual. Uh, like I say, visual, this one, when you are mapping, you can see the line that you're making. You can see where it thinks the fences and other objects are. Uh, with this guy, you've got the great option of dropping pins. So you can be really accurate with things like straight lines. Uh, you can make certain angles that may be harder with just the mower itself. Uh, this one's really great for things like uh, our dot gate. You can set a couple uh, stay out zones and then modify them on the app. So it's got an easier time getting it in and out of the gate. Both of these mowers are going to be great for that task of front yard, backyard. They both work for the gate. They both have the ability to do large capacity. And because they're wireless, it means that uh, other zones are uh, going to be able to be cut at different heights and frequencies. The big kicker on this guy this year that they're trying to push is going to be the edger or what would you call it, weeder, whatever you want to call this guy. Uh, that's something everybody has been asking for, the ability to get the edges, to, to trim the weeds on the side, to, to do what you need to do that a mower can't do by just going close to a fence or something like that. No, I, have, I haven't heard too many reviews on it, so I don't know how well it works, but right now only Yarbo and Segway have the ability to trim. All right, now let's take a look under these mowers. Here you can see we get a little bit closer to the edge because this model has almost like an edge riding capability right here, which is great. It's going to be beneficial for those last laps when it's uh, edging everything up. As you can see, there's not a plate up here like some of the other models that have the floating deck. It uh, kind of just sits up high and you've got decent range on here. This has six blades instead of your regular three blade disc and it has no um, skid plate on the bottom. These wheels are uh, pretty standard size, uh, kind of like the old Husqvarna wheels. And as you can see, everything else is kind of like sealed off. There's not a lot of area for dirt to get into. It's a pretty nice design. Moving over to the Husqvarna, definitely a little bit different than before. We've got the similar style where there's a lot of, there's not a lot going on uh, down here. Maybe some nooks and crannies, but it's kind of pretty flat and flush. You see the, the big, huge, uh, gap right here that's showing you your one to four inches you've got a, a lot of uh, a ability to work with so maybe you have St. Augustine in the front and Bermuda in the back you can adjust however you need I also like this diffuser I feel like it helps uh, w after one moment may go to an another moment in another direction kind of just combs through everything and 
makes everything look really really nice and neat you've got these big fat hunking wheels on here and then you've got these nice tall tall guys they're slightly thinner than the segway wheels but they, i think they work pretty similarly and if you notice on both these there's not a lot of wiring out like the older models we've got one connection here I don't think you can even see any on the Segway. So these are both as modern as you can get as far as uh, uh, autonomous mowing goes. They charge in different ways. This has the piece that goes into it. This does the opposite. Uh, and as you can tell right here, this big area, this is where a lot of our technology is going to be. Uh, stuff that has to do with the RTK and whatnot. This makes it easier so you can uh, put on and off wheel brushes, which you know, and a lot of large American lawns kind of help out a lot, especially on those rainier days and stuff like that. So as far as what these can handle, these both can handle uh, close to a I don't know, 25, 27 degree slope. So which is pretty great, which is 90% of lawns aren't going to exceed that. Uh, although the IQ series does have an all wheel drive model and you can get up to a 70% grade slope. I love the all wheel drive. It's more of a like a split design. If you've seen the old one, that's what the new one looks like. It's just got a head like this uh, for some of the redundancy in GPS. So you don't have to worry about a wire. Speaking of wire, if you've got an area with a lot of lush trees, you're going between two very large houses or anything that's going to lose you a lack of signal, this is uh, wire capable, which means you can get the best of both worlds if you need it. If you have an area you're losing a lot of signal, let's put the wire there. The IQ can get through that. This one might be able to go through those areas by using the camera and detection and things like that. Another big benefit is that with the IQ series, you're going to have to mark out every tree. With the uh, Segway Navimo, it does have some visual recognition. So maybe small trees, certain objects that are in the yard, you might not have to map out the, you know, a dozen or so things you would have to normally with the Hasvarna. These are just going to be little benefits here and there that, that make the difference between these mowers. Now, why are these mowers the number one selling this year? They're innovative. They do everything everybody's been asking for, and they have their own niches. If you have a big family and you've got dogs in the yard, you've got kids leaving toys everywhere, you don't want this thing to run over the animal droppings, you might want to go with the Segway Navimo. That's going to be one of the only mowers that can do that efficiently. It does a really great job, and it'll even kind of feed you back on the app, let you know what's going on. With the Husqvarna, if you really need a mower that's just getting out there, doing the work, especially if you've got a nice big area or you're trying to have a, a install where you, I'm going to the front to the back, I've got tall grass here, I've got short grass back there, you need the flexibility and the power of a tried and true mower, that's where you're going to go with Husqvarna. Now we love both these mowers here at Smart Dots. If you've got any questions, if you want to check these out, give us a call, check out the website, come to the store, uh, catch us next time.